everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a Bottega dupe, except this time I leveled up and have the actual Bottega to compare it to. So before I get started, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more dupes, luxury items, balling on a budget type of videos, and of course beauty because, you know, I like to diversify where I spend my money. So let me tell you the story. I went to Neiman last call with my sister a couple weeks ago and I found this Mansour Gavriel, Gavriel um, bag, which is very reminiscent of the Bottega mini pouch. So I've always had my eye on this one just because I knew I couldn't get the Bottega one. And when I saw it in person, I was like blown away by the quality. It is so, so soft. It's 100% um, lambskin and made in Italy. And let me tell you, the quality is impeccable. So I saw this there for, drum roll please, $247.50. And this retails and is currently being sold at $4.95 at the main store. So then I got to thinking, <laughs> If this one is such amazing quality, because I was like, honestly, this was better than I expected. I wanted to see how it compared to the Bottega pouch bag because the Bottega pouch bag, so this one, checks notes, retails $15.50 and with taxes, it was $16.77. $500 full price versus $15.50. Yeah, I wanna see if it's worth it. I wanted to note that even though this is $4.95 um, normally, Neiman always does like the gift card, um, you know, like you spend X amount and you get a gift card back. And this brand is always included. Farfetch always has coupons. You can find this style of bag on sale all the time. So the $500 I think is definitely well worth it, but even so you can find it for less. But now let's see, like how does it actually compare to the Bottega? Um, size wise, the Monsieur is a little bigger than the Bottega. And like you can even see just like in length, but in width, it seems like the Bottega is a little wider than this one, but they're pretty much the same size. So I'll put the size, sizes up. So the Bottega is four inches by 8.25 by three. I mean, but this is amazing quality, like five inches by nine and a half by 2.7. So this one is definitely larger. As I mentioned, this is super, super soft, made in Italy lambskin, which is notoriously a very soft leather. Like you can even see that it, it's already getting a little wrinkly and it's worn, but it's beautiful. Like I think the more you wear this, the better it'll get just because it's like that lived in feel. The Bottega is made of calf skin, also made in Italy, and it has more weight to it than this one. And I think it's probably just a type of leather but the, the Monsieur is definitely like a very lightweight versus the Bottega. And then something else that I wanted to note were like the straps. The Monsieur is definitely like thicker strap than the Bottega, but they both pretty much have the same concept where you can adjust the sizing of the bag by knotting this wherever you need to. I will say that as I was doing research on the Monsieur, I did see um, complaints that it sometimes like this little I don't know if you can see it this this thing that holds the strap that sometimes they come um, undone or they get loose after a while so that's something to note honestly if I were to keep this bag and not like give it to a family member I was just planning on holding it like this I just love the way that looks so I think I would hold it more like that or just like in the crook of my just my hands like this versus the strap I think it's just so beautiful like this and the strap is kind of like meh oh. so i like that you can remove it on both the bottega one opens up like this and you can see that the magnetic is probably like all along here like the lip of the bag the monsoor is you could see it like right there but honestly i don't think that bothers me the bottega one is obviously more sleek looking but you're paying fifteen hundred dollars <laughs> like it should be more sleek but with, when it comes to like how far they open, they're pretty much the same. The only thing is that I feel like the Monster one wants to close on its own, whereas the Bottega one definitely will stay open for you. What fits in the bag? So I'm going to play the video now. So I tried putting in basically like I had my small bag essentials. All of that fit very comfortably in the Monster bag. And honestly, I'm sure I could fit more in it if I really tried. But I really tried to keep it minimal like for a date night out or something like that. So something that you're not really having to carry a ton of items. And as you can see, 
when I try fitting all those items in the Bottega, it does not work. So the Bottega definitely has less space once you open it up and I'll show you right now. So here you can see, just like because of the way the leather is on the side, you have so much more room in the Monsieur bag. Bottega, it like closes in on the side here. It limits your space like here. Like you could probably stick stuff underneath and in, in the back, like maybe a gloss or something, but you're gonna have to like Tetris it to fit everything versus the Monsieur where you can just like shove it in there and it's fine. The Bottega fit more than I expected because I remember hearing reviews, people saying like, oh, it doesn't fit much. I'm a small bag person. I know what I need to carry when I have a bag like this. So to me, I don't care that all it really fits is um, a card case and I don't know, hand sanitizer in my mask and the lipstick. Like I really don't care because with a small bag, I don't expect it to fit much. It's a small bag, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> They look different. This one has more of a, I don't know, little wave to it. Whereas the Bottega is definitely just like a clutchy, this one just has like an oval shape, but overall, like it's the same vibe. Like you're getting the same energy from both of these. Do I think the Bottega is worth it? Honestly, no. At $1,500, it's a stunning bag. It's beautiful, it's soft. But if you can get something that's like basically the same vibe for 500 or when it's on sale less or with a gift card back, I'd say you're better off getting this one and investing in a Bottega that is, that screams Bottega. I'm not saying because like, oh, you wanna like make sure people know what you're carrying. I'm saying like, if I'm gonna get a Bottega bag, it's gonna have the freaking Intriacato on it, you know? While this is beautiful and I've always eyed it, I think I'd be perfectly fine keeping this one as my, I don't know, cloud bag or whatever, and saving money to put towards like um, a Jody bag or a bigger cassette bag. Like I said, while this is beautiful, I think the dupe wins on this one, hands down. But I do like the weight of this bag. I don't know. And yes, for all the people trying to hold me accountable for my spending, I'm not keeping this bag. I bought it for review purposes because I was honestly very curious since I had never seen this one in person before. This is going back. I just wanted to compare and I'm actually um, quite shocked that I think that the Mansoor is better buy. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, comment down below, which one do you think is the better buy? See you next time.